Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I hope we're all doing okay today. It's a beautiful Sunday. <laughs> um, so guys, today's video is a testimony. I want to testify about God's goodness in my life as uh, my near-death experience. Yes, something that happened in 2014. Yeah, 2014 December that I thought, as a matter of fact, I was convinced in my heart that I was going to die that night. But to the glory of God hmm, and to the shame of the devil, I'm still here in flesh and in blood. So if it sounds like something you want to listen to or something you want to watch, then please stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe, guys. Please. <laughs> So guys, 2014 December, first of all, where I come from, or rather my family, we don't always go to our village, like it's not something, I know yes, Igbo people are known for every year, every December, they, you know, pack themselves, go to their village and turn up, mm, my family is not like that, even the ones staying close, I'm from Abia, which I said in my very first video, in case you've never watched it, and I have some family members in Imo, even they themselves don't go every year, so why should me that? I grew up in Kwara, we going all the way, and even though as an adult I was now in Port Harcourt, it's just it's just not in us. So 2014, my grandma was doing Ibotoma. How do I describe this Ibotoma now? Retirement from social life. Is that it? My people will see this video and have me. Um okay. In my village, I don't know if it happens everywhere, but in my village it came in then the local government of Abia State, so I have to think about it. They do um, this thing where at a certain age, I think usually from your 70s, 80s, you throw a party, you officially retire from going for all these their union meetings, all these their, you know, all these occasions that group meetings and all that, village people's association that even people tend to do you retire from it and it's usually a big deal like the party is usually a ton of like your children if you already have grandchildren the better everybody will gather like it's usually just little little <laughs> so my grandma was doing hers in 2014 and i think my grandma did her own late i'm not sure what she called for me but i think she did her own late i think because i have an uncle that has done his own at you know the ages so yeah that's what we went for that December. I went from Uwere, myself, my siblings, most of our family members from Uwere. My grandma stays in Uwere, so most of us went from Uwere. And it was so much fun. Um, okay, we didn't have uniform. Did we? No, I can't remember. I don't think we had a uniform. But yeah, it was so much fun. Lots of cousins and all that. Things, occasions like this are fun. Except if people are not happy in your family. But it's usually fun. These kind of things are fun. So we're really looking forward to it before the actual day came which finally came out. We went the day before to the village. So the day of the occasion, as my granddaughter now was busy running around, doing one or two things. I already know I have a sensitive tongue, which by the way, what I want to testify about is how God delivered me from food poisoning. Food poisoning, people of God. <laughs> I already know I have a sensitive tummy, so I don't take weeks with my tummy. I don't go about experimenting with food. <laughs> I don't understand how my husband does that. Like, he wants to try something new with food. I'm like, please let everybody try it and survive from it first before you give it to me. So, I can experiment with my tummy. No. However, there are things I already eat that I don't react to and I feel safe eating. But that was a learning day for me. So, we brought the food. Like, my aunt and some people that came the day of the occasion came with food from. The different cities they were coming from and it's actually my auntie that i stay with in a or that we all stay with in a that came with this particular food that i ate excuse me but apparently um salad that isn't fresh anymore is not good for me by fresh like maybe they prepared it in the morning then i was eating it way in the evening you know the weather has been hot and all those kind of things that's just what happened to me i ate this i was really busy so i didn't eat early to much later in the evening and it was probably like 5 6 pm so i ate rice and salad and just a little bit of salad 
That's how we first come in, first time I come doing work, 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 work. We did the reception of the whole location. The main event was somewhere else, but the reception was in her house, my grandfather's house. So when I told you, uh, I just went to the restroom, let it go, let it out. I was hoping the first and the last time. After like 20 minutes, another one broke over. I left what I was doing, rush, rush, did. The third one happened, I started to sweat. And guys, I was on my period, so it was even more disgusting. Like, if you're a lady, you would understand. So I went for the next one, and I just knew that I was in for a night of, of you know, going to the toilet on and off. That is what I thought I was in for. After, you know, the main, will I say, main hosting had ended and it was just music music then family and friends you know it wasn't anything serious like i could be away from there and nobody would notice so i left because i wasn't crashing at my grandfather's place i was crashing at one of my uncle's house so i left with my younger sister i think it was my younger sister i left with my younger sister actually i left with one of my sisters i went back to my uncle's house and i got there you know relaxing that's where all our things are there's nobody sending you on errands the place is a lot chill so the plan was you know, just to relax and enjoy the evening my tummy started again and this time as i was pooing i said to throw i've never had that kind of, i've never been in that kind of situation like ever i poured you a lot like at least once in three months i know yes i need to be but i poured you a lot like i said my tummy says to but purging and throwing up has never been my thing so when it happened the first time i knew that yes i was sick that one went guys i did spend up to 30 minutes i mean up to 10 minutes 10 10 minutes on the bed before i had to rush to the bathroom again Could and true like it continued for like two three hours and it wasn't always poop before throwing up no anyone i can feel the urge to throw up i'll rush to the bathroom as i'm throwing up i'll be pooped. like i do not have control over this thing like I would just feel one urge, go for it, and as I'm releasing one, another one is coming out. Like the other one is just out there. Like it was terrible, and this thing went on for hours. So before 11 p.m., I was already weak. I was so light. I didn't have zero energy again. I was not myself anymore. And all of this wasn't just happening like that. It was happening with serious stomach pain. Like my tummy was aching. In a way that has never ate me before like it was i used to call it my most painful experience until childbirth like it was really painful when i as soon as i throw up and i stew it will subside a little bit but once the urge to do one of them comes up again it comes with that pain i was come to think of me i didn't cry why am i weird about crying i didn't cry during child but these are the most painful things that happened to me and i did not cry for small quarrel now, I'll start crying up and down. Anyway, <laughs> back to my story. So I was losing it. At this point in time, I was asking God, please, what did I do? Forgive me my sins. I said, please have mercy on me. Whatever it is that I have done, please forgive me. <laughs> and let's talk in my village can be very funny. Like, just come and go, come and go. So I was dating my husband then, and I sent him a message, like a goodbye. <laughs> message because seriously i was convinced that i will not make it through the night you cannot all these ones i'm saying now is just i'm sure my sisters will have their own version of the story because they were there with me through it all my brother one of my aunts they were there with me through it all i'm sure their own story will be different but for me i've never experienced something like that before and i was convinced i was dying like yo after a while you know and there was no medication a part of me felt like once i take medication it will feel better because i am one of those who would have faith in drugs like i don't know whether because my mom was a nurse is a nurse sorry but i have faith in drugs so as much as i hate to take drugs i have faith that it work because god gave wisdom to the people that invented it so they have to work so i was waiting for medication we're able to reach my mom to prescribe my mom later was telling me how she was really panicking how she felt bad that she was not with me because she was in her father's house 
so how she felt bad that she was not with me blah 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 she was so scared and network was so messy so you're trying to call someone they take it like an hour before you can finally get into the press so she, it was almost like she was in the dark you know they just tell you that your daughter is vomiting and stooling and screaming that she's in pain and all that but she prescribed what we were supposed to buy which flagy was part of it and um so and they went to get it i don't even know who went to get it but they brought the drug and like i said i was convinced that the drug would work did not panic i was like this because i was already feeling the urge to drop let me finish throwing up so that i'll take another one and you know it will work or it will stay in my tummy so i didn't panic the first one as soon as i finished throwing up and i said i will feel better because i had said time minutes so i knew that i'll feel better for another four five minutes so i said they should give me another one let me quickly take so that at least to do his thing and hopefully stop me from throwing up again as i took the second one someone is coming back oh god as, as i took the second one and i threw up immediately again i was like hey want to get me <laughs> village people want to get me you know how they used to say people people when they go to their village their village people are in chimunche all of that story blah 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 i also heard the story growing up yes i heard the story growing up so as soon as the second train up happened from taking the drug, that's I threw up the drugs again. I was like, okay, this is not food poisoning. It's witches and wizards in my village that have poisoned me. I'm being honest, guys. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. I started thinking, was it a time I left my food and went somewhere as a food I was actively eating and went somewhere and someone poisoned it? Did I collect something from someone? Did I take a drink from like I was like, hey, they didn't ban me. <laughs> I say, God, is this how the end of me will come? Is this how I will ruin grandma's beautiful occasion? Like with my death? I mean, I was like, God, you have to. Like, my mom has already lost her father. She cannot lose me again. It's not possible. God, you, you cannot let, you cannot shame. <laughs> I was scared, to be honest. I was legit scared. But I don't know why I was too weak to even say, God save me. I just told God to please allow me to enter the kingdom of heaven. I said, the worst thing that can happen is to die like that and go to hell. She just allowed me to enter the kingdom of heaven. But my people prayed now, trust them. My auntie Kabash, you know, spoke in tongues and all of that. I get interrupting her prayer because I have to go and throw up and stool and all of that. She'll follow me, she'll see me praying and all that, holding me. Guys. Sorry guys, I was interrupted. What was I even saying to Where was I? Anyway, prayer was obviously working, even though I've not started seeing the manifestation. But yeah, that thing went on for hours. As at 2 a.m i was still in that situation like imagine someone that has been throwing up from that time or that has been stooling and throwing up from like 6 p.m ish and you know it's 2 a.m so you can imagine how i was already feeling let's not even talk about how i'll be looking so um and i now remembered i have faith in drugs so that's me so i remembered how um my mom used to say that um, if you take drugs and it stays in your tummy it only needs a few minutes i don't know about staying in your tummy or where the drug goes but i know that um when i we used to be sick and we're throwing up and you take drugs and you throw up and you tell her she would ask you how long from the time you took the drug before you chew up that's what was the time difference because the drug only needs few minutes to work so even if you chew up 10 15 minutes after taking the drug it will still work there's no point taking another drug it's when you throw up immediately that yes you have to take another drug so I, they were giving me drugs because i was throwing it as in i don't think i was staying up to 60 minutes before i throw it up i mean 60 seconds before i throw up again but remembering what my mom said i now had to you know help my own ministry and how i did that was by um trying to hold myself back from vomiting i stopped asking for drugs or i stopped collecting drugs but i was practicing like every time i felt the urge to throw up i would hold it back for as long as i can before i will now throw up so i did it a few times and each time i was able to hold on longer until i felt like okay i was ready so i told them to give me another dose which i took and i took it as soon as i threw up 
knowing that it took me like another how many minutes for I throw up again. So I took it. Then when the urge to throw up came, I no grew. I said we die here. <laughs> I held the um, urge back. I kept fighting it for a while until I couldn't again, and I now threw up. But I had stayed a long, a lot longer. And at this point, I wasn't throwing up food anymore. I was only throwing up liquid. I, at the same time, I wasn't stooling poo anymore. It was mucus. Sorry if I'm irritating you, but it's part of my story. Um, it was mucus. That's how bad things had gotten. So when I threw up a few minutes after taking the drug, as in when I was able to stay for a while, and I finally threw up. The, I didn't throw up the tablet like I did the last three times. I threw up normal liquid even though the color was yellow which is the color of flaggy but i knew that this this one was better than the other ones that i'll throw up the actual tablet so because of that um i knew i was going to get better so i just lay down on the bed which is what i've been doing the entire night once i finished throwing up and they cleaned me up i wasn't able to do much by myself again they were helping me and they helped me clean up i lay on the bed until the next one so i just laid on the bed and I remember when my brother was standing, when my sisters were, one of my aunts was, and every other person I was just coming in and checking, coming in and out to check on me. But these four were there, like they did not leave my side at all. My auntie was praying and all of that. You could see confusion on my brother's face. Um, my sisters were confused, they were scared, just so many emotions and all that. My mom kept trying to reach us. I'm sure if she had her way that midnight, she would have left where she was and you know, come to where i was so and that was it i just slept off i didn't even know when i did i just knew that in, i don't know what time that was like i said last time i checked time was 2 2 a.m and a lot had still happened from that 2 a.m till the fi- time i finally felt better and slept off i just now opened my eyes and everywhere was bright so and when i opened my eyes my sisters were sleeping it was just three of us in the room my sisters were sleeping i could see them clearly that they were sleeping but the moment i got up feel the speed that they today used to get up <laughs> you would think that they were awake and they were you know getting up to hold me help me stand up to go and throw up and you know thinking that was why i was waking up or that's why i woke up i was like no no urge i'm fine and that was it i didn't throw up again i didn't vomit again and that was it and i know i might have sounded like i'm giving credit to the drug no i know it's god that saved me i know it's god that saved me because i could feel it that i was going like i was that weak like i've vomited the life out of myself i had stood the life out of myself but i'm still here because god isn't done with me yet and after then from my uncles just family members from that the next day and even till a couple of weeks when i was still talking about it people shared experiences of how they themselves have spent three days in the hospital because of it how people that they know died from food poisoning from throwing up oh my my tummy my tummy is doing and they died so i know that god saved my life that day the flagey might have helped me calm things down but it's god that still used that flagey god uses anything to help you to bless you to favor you let me not turn this to a sermon but yes i know it's god that saved me and i'm super super grateful like every time i think about it and every december because that was december 27th and just four days from entering a new year i would have just gone like that so every december when i remember it i'm like god is good like this is me seeing another december that night i was convinced that that was my last december and all of that so yeah this is my near-death experience and i would love for you guys to share yours in the comment section um, just tell me have you had any near-death experience or do you know someone that had and is something worth sharing and all of that or have you ever experienced chronic food poisoning something like what i suffered or even worse because some people's own can be worse just share with me in the comment section let's let's have a conversation thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye